We're constantly bombarded with the message that we need to do more, have more, be more. And it's not news at this point that we live in a very super fast paced world with all the hustle culture surrounding it and it has no intention to slow down. So you wanna get pumped? You better do it fast. You wanna get rich? You better do it fast. So now with this kind of mentality around us all the time in all aspects of our lives, where does it leave us with this? How do we approach it? Do it fast, right? Something as essential as your prayer. Do it fast. There is a beautiful incident that happened in the life of the Prophet ﷺ when the delegation of Ashaj Abdul Qais came down to meet the Prophet ﷺ for the first time. And the juxtaposition in it just tells you the full story. So when the delegation reached the Medina, everyone just rushed to meet the Prophet ﷺ. They left all their belongings, their cattle, their animals. They didn't change their clothes. And back then, Traveling was very hard, we all know that. So that happened with everybody except one person. You guessed it, Ashaj Abdul Qais. He didn't come to the Prophet ﷺ immediately. He actually changed, he settled, and then he came to the Prophet ﷺ and the Prophet praised him for that and he told him, إِنَّ فِيكَ خَصْلَتَيْنِ يُحِبُّهُمَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ Indeed, you have two characteristics that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Prophet, his Messenger, loves very much. الْحِلْمُ وَالْأَنَاهُ Patience and forbearance. Now there are many examples throughout the Quran and the Sunnah that speak about these characteristics that the Muslim should embody. For example, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to verify information and act deliberately before we judge or make a judgment if somebody came with information. Also how the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith that deliberation and mindfulness is from Allah and hastiness is from the devil, from shaitan. In fact, there is a beautiful quote by Abu Haytham rahimahullah when he said, the hasty person cannot be caught, while the patient, deliberate one cannot be preceded. That just tells you how, how different of a perspective a Muslim should have. You should act in a manner that's deliberate, that's confident, that's slow. You know, it's not just rushing, rushing, do, do, do without understanding what you're doing. Honestly, let's think about how the nature around us operates. The nature tells us that we're living in an unnatural way when we go hustle, 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 do more, do fast, do all these, like it's just, I mean, think about it. We don't just pop out and grow up immediately, do we? Trees around us, how many years did it take one of these trees to grow up and become such a beautiful creature? Like all of this, you know, it's all steps, it's all processes, it's all deliberate. And when you deeply think about it, it doesn't really matter how slow you go. As long as you keep going, you're gonna reach your destination, which is what matters. I mean, what's the rush for then? Tell me guys, what are the odds that the Sheikh talked about the exact same subject matter that I talked about today? Hmm? If you told me that I was lying, it'll be right. I uh, know, I'm just good. Did I get you there? Yeah. The khutbah was very good, alhamdulillah. He talked about being dutiful, kind, generous to your kind, uh, to your kind, to your parents. And one thing that stood out to me immediately is how he said, you should give to your parents more than what it's expected from you and you should expect from them less than what they provide for you subhanallah now i do catch myself operating with this mentality more often than i'd like but i always try to strive and take it upon myself that i need to operate from a place of confidence from a place of strength and that comes from maturity and taking my time to progress in whatever endeavor i set out for myself it's also part of trusting allah's tomorrow and i emphasize this point allah's tomorrow tomorrow belongs to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wahda you can't be concerned with what's going to happen in the future too much you can't be stressing and worrying too much about 
you know, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be blah, 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 doing all these things. No. Now, when you think about this new mindset here and put it into perspective, it changes your behavior. In fact, if I catch myself cramping up too many things in my day to the extent that it's just, you know, one thing at a time, it becomes hollow, I don't feel it, there's no soul in it, I just stop and breathe. I'm gonna try to do something here with you guys. I'm gonna keep this frame here. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm gonna shut up. Let's breathe for 10 seconds here. Because trust me, you're not missing out on anything. I want to end today's vlog with this beautiful, very profound quote, because I just love it. In an age of speed, nothing could be more invigorating than going slow. In an age of distractions, nothing can feel more luxurious than paying attention. See you tomorrow. Take care. Alhamdulillah for everything that I have. Alhamdulillah for all the things that I don't have that Allah knew will not be good for me, at least not at this moment. So He eliminated them from my life. Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbil Alameen.